Kelly McKenna here at the bar at Foodland Farms Ala Moana with Chef Kioni Chang, who is going to teach me the art of making the perfect cheese and charcuterie board. Hi, Chef. How are you? I'm so excited about this. Now, I can totally personalize my own charcuterie board here at Foodland. You totally can. When you come to the store, right, we have a great cheese selection. You can pick as many cheeses as you want, go to the produce department, get all your fruit. Then you can come over to our charcuterie side and you can pick any of the different prosciuttos or salamis and pates we have and just go crazy. Yeah. Uh, and I've gone crazy and you're going to teach me how to put yeah. this all together. Let's do it. Well, a charcuterie board is not complete without a glass of wine. So we'll start you off with a glass of quilt Napa Valley Cab. It's like amazing juice and they'll never let us take it off the bar here. So we'll get you started and warmed up here. Very good. You're speaking my language yeah. already. All right. All right. So now this is an art. Now tell me yeah. how the breakdown of a charcuterie well, board Well, the fun goes. thing about it is, you know, you want to break this into like two sections here. And we're going to do sort of the cheese and then we'll do the meats. So when you're making a platter, remember a couple things, right? You want to start high like a mountain and you want to come down into the valley. You want lots of color, variety and texture. So soft, crunchy crispy, you know, a lot of different things will really make this fun and really enjoyable. Let's start with the cheese. Okay. So you want to start top and kind of like just cascade down like a valley. So why don't you build a little mountain? We got some grapes there, right. some red, and we got some green. Maybe you want to take some, we have some apples and uh, pears. You want to make a really pretty, colorful display here. These no are pressure. really, really beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's no pressure. You gotta drink some wine. Okay. Um, but <laughs> just have fun with it. You know, you wanna okay. make it playful, make it just the colors, colorful right? and delightful. Now, while you're doing that, I have three cheeses chosen. We've got a local Big Island goat cheese, which is goat's milk. I've got pecorino here from Italy, which is sheep's milk. And I wanted to have a domestic cheese. So on this side here, this is Mount Tam from Cowgirl Creamery in California. It's a triple creme, so it's like brie. Ooh, so now okay. you want to take the cheese and then kind of like place it like kind of artfully. Oh yeah, that's gosh. great. Maybe okay. put that in the center here. Okay. And then take a couple of these pieces and just kind of like sprinkle them here so that people see this really nice terrain that oh you're building, gosh. a nice landscape of cheese this and looks fruit. looks delicious already. Okay, great. I love that this is local. That's really good stuff. Oh my God, I'm gonna put a little bit more coming together, right? It's looking great. Okay. Now let's do this, the, the savory side. Now we've got prosciutto di San Daniele. So this is from the San Daniele region of Italy. You want to just kind of like ribbon it on the plate. That's great. Ooh, now this is, you, I heard you're a truffle girl, right? I am a truffle so wahine. This is salami that's tartufo, which is truffle in Italian. So this is truffle salami. You want to kind of shingle a few out there and make it look okay. pretty, but that's looking really, really good. Thank you. Take some of this, okay. kind of like, Add it on. Lay it out there. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Look, it's it's oh perfectly gosh. shingled for you. I'm like a sugary pro. So now, Thank you, Foodland. as you think about, we've got some dairy here, we've got some sweet, we've got salty here, and we want to we want to add a little bit more salt and some some texture and characters. You really want to look for different colors, colors like how you did variety, these. variety, texture, yeah. Salt, some soft fruits, some crunchy fruit. These are really great medjool dates. They're uh, sweet. Kind of little has little crystals of sugar in there. It's really delicious. Yes. I have a little bit of fig jam. Oh, this is my jam. Just put it, yeah, no get your jam intended. on. Put that <laughs> over there. And now we have some. Uh, this is whole grain mustard. Take some of the whole grain mustard. And you think about think about a sandwich, right? You're gonna have. You got your your ham. You want to have a little bit of mustard. You put a little slice of cheese. This is a fancy sandwich you're making. Should put I put it right here? That's great. That okay. way. Ah, yeah, put it right here. Okay. Perfect. Now these are caper berries. You've seen the small little yeah. capers. Those are the flowers. They grow into berries. Ooh. So you're gonna add some in here and make it look pretty. Oh my goodness. And then, hey, that's great. See, look at that. You got, it's, it, like, it's a natural. Oh, you're natural you, at this. And then, you. you wanna serve it with some crackers and I got some Ooh. bread, right? So I'll move and this on the side has here. delicious of all of these things. And you can bring this all together. Now, usually you wanna, you'll, you'll serve it with some spoons maybe on the side. Okay. So people can serve themselves. I'll put one here. That was really make easy. Make a fork, put it over there. Now, what would you add to this? You know, it looks great. I'd leave it as is. But the key is to know when to stop. And when to stop. Beautiful. Well, I'm stopping. And you're done. Boom, just like that. My yeah. own personally curated chicory board. And I hear you can also get the grazing boxes at yeah, our field. Yeah, we just launched these. It's super cool. Pick one up, take it home. Beautiful, not as nice as yours, but delicious and ready to go. Grab and go. Yep, Thank absolutely. you for making life so much easier for us. Well, now I can certify you as an official charcuterie maker. Can I drink the wine now? Yes. Okay, perfect. And thank you. I feel like I really did learn something. Cheers. Get a fork. There you guys, check it out at your local Foodland.